Your brother was reported missing, presumed killed, in the desert campaign, I believe. Yes. I think I'm right in saying that Captain Holland was last heard of in uh, May 1942? Yes, May. Of course, he being your elder brother, the estate then passed to you. That's correct, Major Croft, it did. Look, what I want to say next is a little delicate. Go ahead. Can you think of anything that would have made it convenient for your brother to uh, pass out of circulation? How do you mean? I suppose he wouldn't have had any motive for disappearing. One doesn't disappear in wartime on active service. You're either killed or captured or you desert. My brother held the DSO. Yes, I'm familiar with your brother's record. All the same, sometimes a man who has faced up to great dangers successfully cracks for no apparent reason. There's always something beyond the evidence. Such as? Blackmail, perhaps. Debts. What the novelists call unrequited love. It's not as uncommon as all of that. If you're so familiar with my brother's record, I take it you know he died worth a considerable fortune. Blackmail is out of the question. I had to go through all his papers. Yes, of course. But, uh... You didn't say this. Genuine? It's his handwriting, all right. Where did it come from? When the fighting began in the Western Desert, our men were told that in emergencies, they could always be sure of refuge with the Bedouin. They were also told that if they stayed in a length of time, they could write promissory notes for what they owed, and that these notes would eventually be honored by GHQ. Well, long after the campaign was over, these notes began to trickle in. Not many, perhaps few of our chaps wrote them. Or again, maybe the Bedouin were too proud to accept money for their hospitality. But this note was handed into the British Embassy at Tripoli only two weeks ago. By whom? A Bedouin. Did he know anything about my brother? As far as I can make out, no. Has it been honored yet? Not yet. Will it be? That's not for me to decide. Well, what is for you to decide? Nothing. I'm just here to find out things. What is there to find out? Oh, probably very little. But the war's been over a long time now, and there are one or two loose threads. The note's undated, for instance. Tell me something. What help could you give someone like myself, with no special knowledge of the country, who wanted to trace this note to its source? Officially, none. Unofficially, well, I've got quite a few friends scattered about in odd places. How do you do? It's very good of you to meet me. I've got a car over there. We'll look after this as soon as we've got to customers. I'm glad you got my letter. Croft wasn't quite sure of the address. How is old Croft? He and I were in military government together here after the war. A cushy job while it lasted, only for some of us it just didn't last long enough. What have you managed to find out for me? Well, I've traced the Bedouin who brought in your brother's note. Can we see him? Yes, yeah, sure. My boy's looking for him now, down in the old town. Come on, Wahid. Have you got the note with you? Yes, there it is. They found him. Oh, good, all right. Salam alaikum. Alaikum as salam. Nain Hada. Sheikh Salam bin Yusuf. Shlu Kabila. Hey, Wari. Wayne Mashtoud. Beer Abu Adim. Ah. He says it was given to him by a sheikh, Salam bin Yusuf, whose tribe is pasturing a beer Abu Rani. How far is that? Kam kilometer. Bejamal Tibbalayam. 
many, many days, my cap. Is everything organized? The ship of the desert is ready to sail, sir. This looks the best one to me. Oh, no, no, Colonel. I think you'll find Ashwa has too much get up and go for it. She's a crazy camel. The Colonel will find Zen more to his liking. There is just one thing, Mr. Baring, sir. It has come back to me that the disagreeable matter of money has not cropped up. You'll be paid the day you bring my friend back safe and sound. As you know perfectly well, so get on with it, none of your tricks. It's very difficult to live without money, sir. Sir! Goodbye, Baring. Thank you. See you when you get back. Best of luck. Sir, keep your legs crossed, Colonel. Keep your legs crossed. Sir! Sir! Many pictures of girls in Tripoli. Perhaps we find nice girls in Bedouin tents. I, I will arrange scenes of great delight for you. I am noted for it. I'm sure you are. But I'm afraid I have more important things to think about. What could be more important than girls, Colonel? Far from Tripoli. Why do you visit our tents? Well, I'm on holiday and I wanted to explore your country, to study your people and their, their custom. Your baggage is light for such a trip. I'm ashamed to admit that I was relying on your people's hospitality. Betty Betak. While you are here, my home is your home. I'm very grateful to you. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, 
It is the hour for evening prayer. I must leave you. May I uh, wander around your camp? Do as you will. Did the war make much difference to your people? Oh, yes. It was a difficult war for us. We saw much of both sides. Many of our wounded found shelter in your tents, I believe. That is so. Sheikh Salem. Yes. When I told you that I was here on holiday, I was not telling the truth. I believe you gave a Bedouin a note from a British officer by the name of David Holland. The note was for a hundred pounds. The Bedouin took it to Tripoli. I think that David Holland may have sheltered in your tents. I want you to tell me all you can about him. I would not have sent the note, but my tribe had suffered in the drought. But you knew him. He lived here in your tents. Yes, once. A long time ago. But you can remember him. He had been wounded. We took him into our tents and sheltered him for a while. When he was well again, he left us. But before he went, he made me accept the note you speak of. And you never saw him again? He did not return to us. How long did he shelter in your tents? I do not remember. It is a very long time ago. Where was he wounded? In the right shoulder. Was his wound healed when he left you? Perhaps we may talk of this in the morning. It is late and we rise early. If your master requires anything, you will let me know. Good night. What have you said to make him so angry, Colonel? I don't know. If you were thinking of asking me, Colonel, I would tell you this place is a dump to know from nothing. Give me good, clean living and Coca-Cola any place. The girls here don't appreciate an educated man. A good thing we leave tonight, eh, Colonel? We don't. No? No. your son? Where is your man? I knew your son's father. His name was David. I am his brother.
साइरा साइरा Have you anything more to tell me of my brother? I have told you all that I remember. There is nothing more to say. I think there is. My brother's son is in your tents. I have seen him. You are mistaken. I don't think so. The child you saw is fair, very fair. I have also seen and spoken with his mother. And because the child is fair, you think that his father must be of your race? <laughs> This is not so. For centuries, conquerors have passed across our land: Phoenicians, Greeks, Romans, men from the north. Therefore, it sometimes happens that our children are born fair. There are many girls in your tents. Can you know all their secrets, all their loves? No man can know everything. Then how can you be so certain of this girl? How can you tell? Because she is my daughter. I'm sorry. I have accepted your hospitality, and I have offended you. I only wanted to know about my brother. I have told you there is nothing more to say. You will find your camels and your guide waiting for you. Good. Oh, very. Oh, Colonel, I forgot. One of the girls from the Bedouin tent. She liked you very, very much. No, oh, you're straight out of a third-rate novel. Oh, yes. Yes, I know, sir. You're right. When we are leaving, she called me to her tent. Of course, I, I think it is me she wants. Yeah, of course. But no, it is you, Colonel. I find that hard to believe. Likewise, me too. But she points to you, Colonel, and gives me a sock. Is that a sign of great love? No, but I think maybe there's a present for you inside. Was that? No, only some papers. Papers. Yes, Colonel, writing papers. Where's the sock? Well, here, somewhere in the camelback. Find it. Oh, you were coming. This is the diary of Captain David Holland.
sleep now. You are with friends. Sahlan, Sheikh Faris. Salam alaikum, Sheikh Salam. Alaikum assalam. Thank you for looking after me. I must know your name to do that. Abruka. It's a very pretty name. What does it mean? Don't you know? Yes. It means blessed one. It's well chosen. Saida. This is Sheikh Faris of the Attila tribe. He is visiting our tents for a while. Saida, Sheikh Faris. You will heal now. I'd like to thank you and your people. It was little enough. How long have I been here? You have been here for three days. You must rest now and recover your strength. I must join my friends as soon as possible. Where am I now? Bir Abu Ranim. As soon as I can, I, I must make for Tobruk. The there are no friends for you there. Tobruk has fallen. This is not a time for despair. There are other friends. Other places. Rest now. that you are better, it is not right that my daughter should be with you. She is young and unmarried. She will return to the women's tents. 
Mabruka is promised to Sheikh Paris. My brother Khalil will bring you your food in future. Good night. Good night, Sheikh Salim. Gar nicht übel hier. Nein. Interessant. Da sieht ihr mal diese Teppiche an. Ja, hm? wahrscheinlich alle verlaust. Mensch, du hast recht. <lacht> In der Nacht ist der Mensch nicht gern alleine. Marika Röck, was? Ja, Frau meiner Träume. <lacht> also schlaf gut. Guten Nacht. Ja, du auch. Guten Nacht. <lacht> 
Kopp, komm her. Was ist denn los? Sieh dieses Ding an. Vom britischen Revolver. Wo hast du das gefunden? Na, hier unter dem Kissen. Ja, natürlich ist das britisch. Wie kommt das Ding her? Das ist ein britischer Revolver. Fragen Sie, wo er das Ding her hat. Der Zabot der Almani fragt, von wo ist der Mussedes der Britanni? Saida, das ist doch ein britischer Revolver. Da fragen Sie, wo er ihn her hat. Also los, los, fragen Sie, wo er ihn her hat. Zur römischen Ruine. Ja. 
Alter gleich wie dieses Mal. Also eins, zwei. Hast du gesagt, hier ist was zu drücken? Ich sehe überhaupt nicht, was hier zu drücken ist. Mensch, du bist ein Idiot! Was heißt, ich bin ein Idiot? Oh, du musst dein Ding rumdrehen, dann einfach draufdrücken, ist doch ganz einfach. Ich habe doch schon mal drauf gedrückt, aber jetzt lässt sich das Ding überhaupt nicht einstellen. Das geht vor, du musst du rumdrehen und dann einfach draufdrücken, dann geht alles in Ordnung. Ach, also jetzt verstehe ich. Also diesmal bestimmt, zum letzten Mal. Diesmal geht's. Also los. Bist du bereit? Moment. Also steh still. Ja, ja. Eins, zwei, drei. So, diesmal ist gut gelungen. Alles geklappt? Ja, natürlich. Wir machen gleich eine Aufnahme draußen, ja, die muss dann auch gut werden, gell? Vergiss nicht weiter zu drehen. Ganz einfach. Sei da. Sei da, The Germans found this. What happened? I told them that I had cut your throat myself. I talked so well that they let me keep it. Thank you. I had some anxious moments here. I was not undisturbed myself. Because of this, I have decided that you should remain here. It will be safer for all of us. Yes. We were lucky to get away with it this time. But it's given me an idea. Do the Germans often pass through this way? Visiting the ruins, I mean. Sometime. Supposing we prepared a plan. My wound's almost healed. I have no reason for remaining here. I must get back to my own lines. This I understand. Tell me your plan. By camel, I wouldn't stand a chance. But by car, say a German car. Yes. They'll be off guard, taking photographs. Once we have news that they're coming, we can approach from this way. There are your tents. They're bound to come in this way. With your help, I can ambush them. Very well. I will help you. Thanks. In return for your help, I, I can only offer you this. It's my bond and will be honored by my people. Please take it. Thank you. Something had happened to you. I've got too much time to think, that's the trouble. It is because you were hungry. Is it? Don't the days ever seem long to you? And you are not hungry? No. So what do you think about? Many things. Tell me. When the war over, and I no more bring food for you, When you go home. If I come out of this, I, I shan't ever go back. Not leave here? Yes, I suppose that's what I mean. Not only here. I don't want to leave you. Your land far away? Yes, very far. You have a wife? No, no wife. Why? You poor? Here, only poor man has no wife. Man has no money to give a girl's father. You know what's happened, don't you? Do you need me to say, I love you? Tell me if what I believe is true. And it's the same with you. I must not love you. But 
is true, isn't it? Yes. the war too but I have faith it will not take you with faith you can make anything happen faith and a little luck I had faith you would not die did I nearly die oh yes there were three nights when the black camel knelt outside your tent waiting to take you and you looked after me all the time I wish I'd known how lucky I was. Babuka, you know I may have to leave you soon. But all the things I've said before, I really mean. When it's all over, I shall come back. And I shall marry you. Don't you believe me? Look at me. If I'm not killed, I will come back. Where's your faith? You are not of our people. You do not know our ways. Here, I can love a man, but that does not mean I can marry him. Who says so? My father. He will choose the man I marry. Don't you love me, Mabuka? I shall never love any other. Then I must speak to your father. No, no. I must speak to him. No. Don't be frightened, my brother. my faith, recognize only the brotherhood of man under the sovereign rule of Allah. I am honored that my daughter has found favor in your sight, but she is already betrothed to another man. The marriage contract has been drawn up, and the time is not far distant when we shall mark the occasion according to our ways. I see. He says the German vehicle has been seen approaching the ruins. This may be the chance you've waited for. Shall we go? Yes.
Realtum fotografieren heute, was? Ja, ich glaube, wir werden ein paar gute Aufnahmen machen. Ja, wir müssen die Acht geben wegen der Sonne, aber. Sonst wird nachher die Belichtung schlecht. Das ist nämlich ganz schlecht. Schönes Wetter! Two machine gunners in the truck. Must be a trap. Sorry, it's still high, huh? Yeah. Also bleib mal hier stehen. Nee, komm her. Hat keinen Zweck. Hier rüber. Wir werden es mal hier drüben probieren. Interessante Gegend hier, was? Ja. Vielleicht so wie Sonne hier ein bisschen. Ja. Ich glaube, das Licht ist schlecht hier. Ja, kann sein. on the side and lobbing a grenade. serve Allah as it were on the verge. If good befalls them, they are well content. But if a trial comes to them, they turn away their faces. They lose both this world and the hereafter. I'm ashamed for my people. I'm grieved to have pledged my daughter to a man who has wronged us all in your sight. A stranger came to our tents. He was a bearer of evil tidings. The British army has been defeated. Rommel has captured the whole of North Africa. All the Germans have moved away from here. I have a truck, but nowhere to go. Do not lose hope, David. Your nation has been defeated before and has returned to battle with keener swords.
بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم ملك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إذن الصراة المستقيمة صراة الذين أنعمت عليهم غير مخبوض عليهم من الضالين I give my daughter Mabruka in marriage to the owner of this ring I take her in marriage under my care I promise to afford her protection all you who are present bear witness of this. Eat, my son. Shakriya.
You're cheating. <laughs> Saida, David. Saida, Sheikh Salim. This man brings news. The British are standing at El Alamein. They have inflicted a great defeat upon the enemy, who are in full retreat. Please tell him I'm very happy at the news he brings. I'm very grateful. Al Inglesi Mabsud. Why is Kuruka Kathiara? Ma salami. Ma salami. Sheikh Salim. I must speak to you alone. This man has ridden far. I will provide for him and await you in my tent. What must you speak of with my father that I cannot hear? A book. <laughs> if you go away, I will never see you again. But I must go. I can't stay. My friends are still fighting. Would you rather I was a coward? I only want you to be alive. Luca. Does this fighting bring more rain for the pastures? Does it bring peace? You do not know what it means to love, or you would never leave me. Luca, do you think I want to leave you? I have so much to live for now. But that's the reason I must go. If I stay, it'll only destroy our love. But you are only one man. What can you do alone? I won't be alone. There are many things that differ between us. But this decision of yours, I understand. It is right that you should go. No man can hope that his children should live forever. Life, if you know how to use it, is long enough. One cannot always take and give nothing in return. One man alone can do little, but with the right kind of help. What is in your mind? We fought together once. We could do it again, with much greater effect. My son, you do me honor. It is always pleasant to know that one is not thought too old to fight. My house is now your house. Also my sword. so sure of a son. Because the old women of the tribe have told me, and they are always right. What name would you choose for him? Your name in our tongue. Then call him Dawood. David, do not leave me. People don't have to stop loving each other because they part. I will always love you, David. I told you, I will come back. Yes.
just been thrown out. Never mind. Mabruka, what is it that you wish to say to us? When I was last here, you concealed certain things from me. I have read the pages of the diary my brother left in your tents. I know that he married your daughter. And that the child I saw is their son. I know these things to be true beyond all doubt. Ask my father your questions. And he will answer. I will do as my daughter wishes. You and your men left these tents with my brother. Yes. Yes, we went with him. For three days we rode to the north, moving only by night and hiding in the wadis and hollows by day.
David died trying to save my life. Many of my men were killed. I escaped only by feigning death. Ask what you will. There is a page missing from my brother's diary. A most important page. Do you have it still? I beg of you, if you have it, show it to me. I ask most humbly. Once before, you had a page like this. It brought you a hundred pounds. What I now hold in my hand is something far more powerful. If you took this note to London, it would bring down land and wealth beyond your reckoning. Do you know what that means to doubt? We have always understood. That is why I let you go from here in ignorance of your brother's fate. Because you thought I might want to take Dioud from you and show him a new life. That was our fear. Suppose the child were to travel to England to claim his birthright and return here whenever possible. Surely he could then understand both ways. If he had learned your ideas, would he have any room for ours? No. He would grow to despise us, to think our way of life bare. Did my brother despise you? He knew both worlds. Your brother was a man, Dowd is but a child. And when the colt has a tender neck, he goes as the rider directs. In your country, Dowd would be as a child lost. A stranger in his own father's country. Could you not come to England with him? No, I cannot leave my people. But by right, everything that I possess belongs to Dawood. We know that you are not thinking of your own good. You must believe that we are not thinking of ours. But how can you tell what happiness and freedom of mind Dawood might find with us? I cannot tell. But I know that if he stays here, he will be close to Allah. One thing I beg of you, let me tell the boy. It would serve no purpose. Are you afraid your way of life means so little to him that he would leave you if given the chance? No, I am not afraid. Let him tell Dowd. So be it. My daughter will take you to where you can find the boy. Mabruka. Do you miss my brother very much? David is with me in our son. Dowd is in the pastures.
Can it make fire again? Yeah, you try it. Keep it. For always? <laughs> Thank you. But why should you give me a present? Because your father would have wanted me to. You knew my father? Yes. You are from his people? He was my brother. Listen, Dowd. Your father had great land, money, and a beautiful house. All these things are now yours by right of being his son. But they are in England, and you must go there to claim them. Is the land as large as these pastures? Ten times as large. And the house? Ten times as large as your grandfather's tent. And I own it. I alone. Yes. Are there sheep on this land? Many. Horses? A few. Goats? Yes. Camels? No. No camels? I'm sorry, not one. Does it ever rain there? Then the pastures are good. Yes. I can promise you the pastures are very good. Have you told this thing to my mother and to my grandfather? Yes, I have. What do they say? What do they want me to do? I don't know. Shall we go and find out? friend has told you of your father's lands. Yes. And that he wishes to take you to his country. Yes. But you must decide for me. There are some things that I cannot decide for you. You are your father's son and he has willed these things to you. This paper tells it all. But remember, if you go there, your loyalty will be to the people on your own land. And you will not be able to take your place amongst our own people. No man can serve two tribes. Therefore, you must choose between them. But on my land in England, there are many sheep and goats. Though no camels. And there is water running through the pastures. Is that not so? And in the dwelling house, there is room for many people. So could not you both come and live with me there? It cannot be. We have lived in these tents too long to be able to change our ways. But you are young. You could go to a new land and be happy. Tell me what I should do. Dowd, I cannot. I do not know. We cannot help you. But how am I to know what to say? You must search your own heart.
Allah is merciful. 